Uh, so this is uh, Richie, it's an interactive robot. It's fully open source, uh, both uh, air software and uh, data. And it's made to explore application in the real world with AI and robotics. And this is an example of entertainment application with uh, people. But we, have, uh, we can imagine other applications such as a service robot. You can imagine have this as uh, to uh, welcome people, give uh, something to people when they come in your shop. So this is open source? Yeah, yeah, it's fully open source. All the robot is 3D printed, so you can easily change the robot if you want, to adapt it to the robot, to your application. What, and it's it's uh, able to grab things? Sorry? It can grab some things? Yeah, yeah. So this is really the particularity of this robot. It can actually manipulate objects. Here we have a simple uh, gripper, but we also have other kinds of hands for different kind of application. And here we use the, the simple uh, gripper for uh, this kind of application. So what's possible? How many things you can do? How many things? Yeah, what's, what's the limit? Ah, yeah. Uh, so the limit is that it, it can't move right now. There is no uh, lower body with uh, wheels or, uh, or legs. It's, it doesn't fit industry area application. It's made for uh, uh, interactive application. So mostly uh, moving a small object up to uh, 500 grams. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's working uh, right now. There is two cameras here, so you can detect where is the board. And right now, it's waiting for me to, to play. <laughs> and it has a really expressive aid with yeah. uh, moving antenna. Yes, yeah. uh, here you have some other example. Oh, okay. so we can we can interact. We can go in the street. It's really easy to uh, uh, to install. We have an example in the hotel to welcome guests and give the, the key. Yeah. Have uh, you sold any yet or is it still? Yeah, still we, we have already sold the previous version. It was only the arm and not the, the rest of the body. Well, you have no head and no, no trunk. What was the arm used? And the arm was used for uh, prosthesis, for example. Prosthesis, yeah, was used to explore prosthesis for people who oh, had a yeah, yeah. disability. Uh, but also to explore uh, service application with an arm, but it had it uh, with no no head at the time. Yeah. Now it's possible. Okay, it's really cute. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thank What's the idea with the marine T-shirt? Uh, the robot, the, this this part is in the fabric, so you can adapt the robot and personalize the robot to your company. And for the default one is a mariner. It's a French uh, fabric. And as a robot, it's made in France, we uh, just... Uh, uh, so what is uh, Poland Robotics? Uh, since when have you been working on the robots? It's a new company, a startup? Uh, yeah, it's a new company. We, are, we, have, we have been funded in uh, 2016. And we developed uh, interactive robots for real world. And this one is the uh, last uh, project we are launching uh, for the CES. So launching? Yeah. So Does that mean it's for sale? Yeah, yeah, it's for sale right now in pre-order. We are limited to 15 for this year. And it's pre-order for... How much is the price? Uh, it depends. The robot is modular, so you can adapt. You can use only one arm or the full robot. The first uh, package uh, starts at uh, $9,000. And this one with two arms and the head and the trunk is uh, $17,000. 17, How difficult is it to develop apps? Uh, actually, you need to, yeah, you need to know to, to, to be able to program in Python, and all the I think it's the only restriction we have. Are you able to, to do some line of code with Python? Can it serve coffee and tea? And we stuff? have example of which ah yeah, the VLC is crashing on the Apple. Yeah, yeah. You need to use an open source tablet, Android. We have an example here. And it's not going to drop the coffee cups? No, no, mugs. It's, it's working it. The most expensive part is the, <coughs> oh, the arms, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And we have this uh, custom made. This is uh, an actuator we developed at Poland Robotics. It's called Orbiter. 
and it's really an innovative way to move a part in a 3D. So you can, so turn, you really can turn it in all directions, uh, really fast and with uh, really smooth motion. Nice. So what kind of partners are you looking for? Fine. What kind of customers, what kind of partners? Oh uh, yeah, we are looking for work. researchers and uh, engineers in companies who are working in, uh, uh, mostly on service uh, business and who want to add robotics and AI in this, uh, in this domain. The, the robot called the Pepper, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you spin out from them or yeah. are, you, uh, are you the cutting edge in open source robotics? And yeah. Like uh, France or in Europe, yeah. in the world? Yeah, we, uh, we yeah. it's kind of paper, but paper is not able to grasp things, and it's not open source as well. So it's it's really to to go uh, beyond what is possible with paper. How soon you will have legs? Uh, for the moment, it's not uh, plain. We are working on it, but uh, with no deadline. Uh, but we we are really uh, thinking about adding mobility to the robots.